What is up guys, it's Conrad back with another video and today we are going to be working with speech recognition in Python 3. So this is really helpful if you're working with uh, any type of project where you want to get speech input from the user. It could be the Python Digital Assistant project that we did in the last video, which you can view in the YouTube card, or it could be anything really. And to do speech recognition in Python is actually relatively easy. The simplest way I found to do it was to go to the speech recognition library, which you can see is documented uh, pretty well on pypy.org. And basically all you have to do is install the speech recognition library, which is pip install speech recognition. So I'll copy that and paste it into our terminal. You can see I've already had it installed, so um, it doesn't do anything to me, for me, but it will for you. And then also you need to go all the way down and you'll see in the requirements, we need to install Pi Audio. And so if we go down here to where it talks about Pi Audio, because I'm using Linux, I need to run this command, sudo apt get install python pi audio python3 pi audio. So I will do that for my system. It may be different if you're using Windows or Mac. Let me input my password and you can see it is already installed for me. And then finally what you have to do is we have to install pi audio through pip. So let me do that. And you can see now all of our requirements for getting started with this project are done. So now it's time to actually start coding. So in my speech recognition file, and make sure that you don't name your file speech recognition, name it something different, because the library that we're using is called speech recognition, so that's gonna confuse Python. But anyways, so I have speech recognition example.py, and we're going to import speech underscore recognition as SR for short. Next, we're going to set our recognizer, which is going to recognize the audio. Uh, recognizer equal to SR for speech recognition dot capital R recognizer and input some empty parentheses. We're also going to set our microphone, our mic equal to SR dot microphone and then inside these parentheses, you could specify which microphone you want it to use. Um, since most people are just going to have one microphone that they want all the input to go into, I'm just going to leave this empty and it'll use the default microphone. And as always, if you have any questions about what's going on, you can refer to this PyPy page, which I'll have linked in the description. And then also you can just copy and paste the entire code um, from my GitHub. And it also has instructions on installing everything. But anyway, so after that we've set our microphone, what we need to do is we need to say with mic as source, meaning the source for the audio, we're gonna set the audio equal to recognizer dot listen and input the source into the parentheses. Now that we have that, we can set our output equal to recognizer dot recognize. We could say what recognizer we want to use. So in this case, I'm gonna use the Google recognizer. You could also use like um, Bing and some other stuff. I find that the Google speech recognition recognizer obviously works best. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to put audio. And then finally, to make sure that uh, our output actually works where you're just going to print the output into the command line. All right, sweet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand our terminal window here and we're going to run our Python file. So we'll say Python speech recognition example.py. And now we are going to say something and see if it prints it out after it is done transcribing our audio. And you see right here it says, and now we are going to say something and see if it prints it out after it is done transcribing our audio. So that's pretty close to what I said. I mean, I said our instead of our, but I mean, it's understandable why it would, why the speech recognition would mess that up. And all this stuff right here is just default terminal output. 
you can get rid of it pretty easily. It's a it's a Pi Audio thing about jacks and stuff. I'm not going to get into it, but you can see already here that we have implemented speech recognition in Python because I said something and it printed it out when we said to print output. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please refer to the GitHub GIST that I have linked below or the Pi Respiratory or in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about what we did in this video, please leave them down below. Now, if I could have just one more minute of your time, I would like to tell you about a service that I've been using for over a year now called Script. Now, just as a side note, Script did not sponsor me to make this video. I just wanted to tell you about it. Put simply, Script is a lot like Audible, except for instead of being $15 a month, it's only nine, and instead of only having two audiobooks per month, you get an unlimited access to a plethora of audiobooks, ebooks, documents, and even sheet music and magazines. So for me, this was obviously a no brainer. And right now, if you use the link in the description, you get 60 days free of Scribd, and I get one month if you sign up using my link. So that's why Scribd didn't officially sponsor this video. I'm just telling you about it so that I can get some free months and I can continue learning, and you can also continue learning with your 60 day free trial. So thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.